Hello guys, in this video you will learn a breakout trading strategy based on inside bar candlestick patterns. So what is the inside bar pattern? Well, the inside bar is a two candle formation. The second candle's entire range must be inside the previous candle's range. As you can see in the chart example, the high and low of the second candle must completely fit within the range of the previous candle. This is a valid inside bar. Many traders do get confused and misinterpret an invalid inside bar for a valid one, and this mistake could be costly. In the chart example, the body of the second candle does fit within the range of the previous candle, however, the high and low do not. So it is not a valid inside bar. So let me ask you something. Why does the inside candle occur? The inside bar formation is not actually a direct signal, it's what we call a consolidation flag. This is because during the entire period the candle was open, the market did not make any real ground in terms of movement. Instead, it just churned away within the range of the previous candle. So when an inside bar forms, it indicates a pause or consolidation in the market, and consolidation means that buyers and sellers are equal. So the breakout of the inside bar means that the market gets out of the range and will take a certain direction. As a price action trader, when you spot an inside bar, you should consider it as an opportunity to enter the market. So the question is, how to trade the inside bar? When you open your chart, you have to make a market structure analysis to answer four important questions. Is the market trending up? Is the market trending down? Is the market ranging or unreadable? Let me give you an example. As you can see here, the market is trending up because according to the market structure analysis, the market is making higher highs and higher lows. So this information is important because it shows us that buyers are in control of the market and the best trading decision is to buy whenever an opportunity presents itself. So during this uptrending market condition, we have a great inside bar formation and as we said previously, an inside bar indicates a pause or consolidation. So when we spot this candlestick pattern, we will simply wait for the breakout of the inside bar to make a buy entry. What we are basically trying to do here is capture breakouts in the direction of the core trend pressure. So we can jump on the broader trend movement with a good entry price. Pro tip, traders will find many inside candle formations on their chart, but we need to be aware that it's a silly idea to target each one as a potential high reward trade. Quiet times and heavy consolidation periods provide unreliable trading conditions, and any inside candles that form in these environments are just as unreliable. Let me give you an example. As you can see here, the market is trending up, but here the market is quiet and does not move fast, so it is risky to take this inside bar candlestick pattern. We need a trending market where the move is a little bit strong because this will help us better join the trend at the breakout of the inside bar. As you can see here, the trend is clearly up and the movement is strong. So here the formation of this inside bar represents a pause and the breakout of it is a great opportunity to join this uptrend. So you know that during an uptrending market, we look for an inside bar setup that forms in line with the uptrend. But what about a downtrending market? Let me give you another example. As you can see here, by making our market structure analysis, we can see that the market is making lower highs and lower lows, so it is clearly a downtrend. This information is crucial because now we know that sellers are in control, and we have to find a way to join the downtrend. The inside bar pattern formation provides us with a great opportunity to join the downtrend. All we need to do is wait for the breakout of the inside bar and make a sell entry. So now, you know how to identify a trend and how to place your entry and join the trend using the inside bar candlestick pattern. But what if the market is not trending? Let me give you another example. As you can see here, by analyzing the market structure, we can see that the market trades between horizontal support and resistance. So it is a ranging market. Here, buyers and sellers are equal, and the best trading decisions should be taken from either support or resistance. So here we have a clear inside bar at the resistance level. We will wait for the breakout to make an entry, set a stop loss below the candle, and target the next support level. Look at another example. 
Here, the market is trading between horizontal support and resistance. So we will wait for an inside bar to form either at the support or the resistance. As you can see here, there is a high probability inside bar setup that formed at the support level. So all you need to do is wait for the breakout of the inside bar, set a stop loss below it, and target the next resistance level. So let me give you a pro tip. During a range bound market, the best trading opportunities are always located either at the support or resistance levels, we never trade inside the range. Now, look at another example. As you can see here, this market is not clear, it is unreadable, so we can't make any trading decision. If you spot an inside bar candlestick pattern in these market conditions, it is better to ignore it, because nobody knows what the market is likely to do. Okay, so now you know how to trade inside bars during uptrending, downtrending, and ranging markets. So, how to differentiate between good and bad quality inside bars? Because inside bars appear so frequently on the charts, we need to use a few simple techniques to filter out the high-risk situations and focus on the low-risk, high-reward breakout potentials. When trading the inside bar candlestick pattern, the time frame is very important. You have to focus on the daily time frame and the 4 hours time frames. You can even trade it on the hourly time frame, but less than the hourly time frame is not recommended. If you tried to trade inside candles off the 5 minute chart, you would be walking away from the ordeal with an empty trading account and a piece of your soul missing. Look at this chart example. As you can see here, this is a 5 minute time frame. We have a lot of inside bars that failed, and that's normal because candlestick pattern signals don't work on smaller time frames. You can trade smaller time frames if you want to use some scalping trading strategies, but if you want to use price action and candlestick patterns as a signal to enter your trade, you have to focus on higher time frames. Now, look at the daily time frame to see the difference. As you can see here, the market is clear and most price action trading signals work. Here, this is a clear inside bar signal that worked. Inside day breakouts on the daily chart produce low risk, high reward potential breakout trades. So as a recap, let me remind you of the steps to follow when trading an inside bar candlestick signal. Use higher time frame, such as the hourly, 4 hours, or daily time frame. Make your market structure analysis to see if the market is trending up, trending down, or ranging. Use your inside bar breakout as an entry to take your trading decision. I hope this video has taught you something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you for watching and see you soon.